Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I was browsing the internet the other day and came across National Raspberries and Cream Day. I did not know that there was such a day, but this recipe was inspired by that day. This past August 7th. I was hoping to get it up over the weekend, but with editing, we're getting it up today and I hope you guys enjoy it and it's a recipe that you make week after week. It's amazing. You can make them up to the point of frying them and then go ahead, freeze them individually. So you can just pop them out one at a time, one serving at a time, fry up some blintzes any day of the week. This recipe's ingredients are relatively simple. You probably already have them on hand in your pantry. You're going to need 3 quarter cup of King Arthur Keto Blend Flour. You'll want 1 and a quarter cup of plant-based milk. I'm going to go with the Macadamia Milkadamia brand milk. You'll want 1 quarter cup Keto Friendly Sweetener. Today I'm using the King Arthur Baking Sugar Alternative because I have that. Also going to want 4 eggs, 1 teaspoon of vanilla, 3 tablespoons of butter softened, plus a little bit more for frying up the blintzes. To make the batter for the blintzes, you'll want to add milk, flour, sweetener, egg, butter, vanilla, and salt to a blender. Go ahead and blend that up until smooth. Each crepe should take about a quarter cup of the batter. You'll want to go ahead and roll the batter on the pan in a circular motion until you get a really thin circle into the pan. Then go ahead and cook the crepe for about 3 minutes until lightly golden brown. I like to use like a double spatula method here to get the crepe split, you know, just kind of get one spatula underneath the crepe and start to move it, in, you know, slowly under the crepe and use the other spatula to help you get it flipped over to the other side. Then you're going to want to cook it for about a minute or two again, just until lightly brown. You want them pliable, flexible, and soft. Once you finish cooking that crepe, go ahead and remove that onto a plate that you're going to then cover the crepe with parchment paper. You'll want the filling ingredients at room temperature to make it easiest to mix. You're going to need 1 cup whole milk ricotta cheese, 8 ounces or 1 block of full fat cream cheese softened, a quarter cup of the King Arthur Sugar Alternative, one egg yolk, one tablespoon lemon juice, one tablespoon vanilla extract. Once you've made the cheese filling, you can pop that into the refrigerator and let that set up while you make your crepes. You'll want to go ahead and heat a skillet over medium heat. I'm using this cooktop which is meant to make crepes and it's an excellent surface to use. You can spread it out nice and thin. I do have the little roller tool but my son has it somewhere here in the house. Couldn't find it in time for the video but I'll put information for the cooktop and the tools for making the crepes in the description box below. Once we've got our crepes cooked up, we'll want to go ahead and place a big heaping spoonful of our filling about an inch from the bottom of the crepe. Then roll the crepe all the way up, similar to a burrito. Go ahead and place that roll of blintz to the side and repeat the steps until you're done with all your crepes and filling. You actually might have a little bit of extra filling left and we can use that to top the blintzes later.
about two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of avocado oil to a pan, and then warm that over medium heat. Once your oil is nice and hot, you're going to want to go ahead and toast those blunts the seam side down for a couple of minutes on each side, just until lightly golden brown, and then you can top them as you like and serve immediately. Again, you can make these blintzes ahead of time, just up until the point of where you would fry them. Go ahead and you can flash freeze them and then put them in a food saver bag, seal them up, and then you can pop them out one at a time or as many as you need throughout the week and fry them up and top them with an endless amount of berries and whipped cream and whatever else you desire. I ended up making a raspberry sauce in honor of raspberry and cream day. That's what I went with for these. I did not have fresh raspberries, but I reconstituted some that I had whole freeze dried raspberries from August and Farms. So I used those instead. Those come in really handy, um, even to make jams and syrups and different things if you're out of fresh berries. Be sure to check in the description box for a link to the recipe featured on the lowcarbsweetspot.com where you can print the recipe up to 3x. Go ahead and hit the share down below to share some of the love with others. Make sure they get to enjoy these delicious recipes as well. Hit the like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like more weekly recipes that will help you along your keto, low carb weight loss journey. And be sure to say hi in the comments below. I love chatting with you guys. Thanks for watching.